Arc Captain has sent me their MiG-200 to test. I'm not going to go through all the details in this video. I'm just basically going to set it up and run some welds and we'll see how it does. This Arc Captain MiG-200 is capable of MiG, flux core, lift TIG, spool gun aluminum, as well as your regular MiG lead for aluminum if you'd like to do it that way. It comes with extra tips, all the wheels that you need to get it set up, a gas line hose for connecting your welding gas. It comes with the work clamp, the MIG lead, as well as an electrode holder for stick welding. Now if you want to TIG weld with the machine, you're going to have to buy the optional TIG torch. And if you want to weld aluminum with the spool gun, it does not come with the spool gun, but it does have a connector and settings in the machine for MIG welding aluminum. Inside the door, they include a nice chart and it gives you some pretty good information. Tells you the polarities you need for each of the uh, processes, how to set the machine up. It gives you some guidelines for starting points on weld settings, and it's just pretty handy. It's right inside the door there. I've got it set up right now with 030 solid wire and connected to the uh, C25 mix gas, and I'm going to test out the MIG. Now this is a Synergic machine as well as manual settings, so you have both of those options. We'll test them both out in this video. And at a later point in time, when I get more time on my hands, I'll probably set it up and test out the stick welding features. But in this video, I'm just going to test out the MIG settings with solid wire. I've got it connected to my 240 volt extension cord to my 240 volt outlet. And let's just run some tests and see how it does. So one thing nice, when you first turn the machine on, it powers up. Fan comes on for 30 seconds or so and then the fan shuts off. So it does have a temperature controlled fan, which is nice. So when it's sitting here and you're not welding, it's silent. When you start welding and it requires demand for cooling, the fan will come on. So I really like that feature about this particular machine. Over here we've got Synergic. So you've got the Synergic settings where your voltage or amperage, as you change that, the voltage changes as well. So they're tied together with pre-programmed settings to help you out and get you started. You've got an inductance control, so hard and soft. We'll just start out with it basically in the center, right in the middle. And then you've got standard or regular settings, so manual mode. You can adjust the voltage and the wire feed speed in meters per minute separately. For manual setup. Here you've got 2T, 4T, and I hear a lot of people calling this pulse. It's not pulse, it's it's spot weld function. So you've got a spot weld function and then you can set a timer for two seconds, three seconds, that sort of thing, just for tacking purposes. So we'll go back to 2T. So this button down here on the lower right hand corner, when you're in the synergic mode, you can select the different gas that you're using. So that's the mix. That's no gas for flux. That's for uh, stainless steel, aluminum, regular straight CO2, and then back to the mix. Looks like in synergic, you can change your voltage plus three or minus three. So you do have some control in the MIG setting under Synergic of adjusting your voltage. Three volts plus or minus. So I'm gonna weld on some 14 gauge steel or roughly two millimeter. So let me look at the settings here. So we're using steel, SR70S6. I've got the V-Groove drive roller in. I've got the polarity set up with DC electrode positive. We're using mix. We want between 8 and 12 on the uh, cubic feet per minute using 0.8 wire or 030 wire. We're using the 2 millimeter, so we want 18.5 volts and 9 inches per minute on the wire feed speed. So 18, 5, and 9. So let's set this up for 18.5 volts and 9 on the wire feed speed. I've run at about 12 cubic feet per minute on the flow meter for the mixed gas. 
with 030 solid wire. And we'll just leave inductance in the middle and we'll give that a, a try and we'll see how it does. So I'm just going to practice on this piece here. You can see I've done a lot of practicing on it. Some stick welding over here. Not with this machine. These are done with the uh, Arc Captain 200. I wanted to test it and make sure it works and it does. So we'll run some more beads along here with this .030 solid wire and test out the MIG functions of the ARC Captain 200. We'll do both Synergic as well as manual settings and just test them both out and see how it runs. All right, you can hear that fan give you an idea how loud it is. It's really not too bad. But the fan is on. And these three welds on the left, one, two, and three are the three I just did. I thought it was a little cold in the start. I turned it up a half a volt to 19 volts for this middle one. And then I turned it up a half a volt again. And now I'm at 19.5 and nine meters per minute on the settings. But I think it welds pretty nice. There's the settings I ended on. So I'll, now let's try the Synergic setting. We'll go to Synergic. And let's set the voltage at about 100 volts, or excuse me, set the amperage at 100 amps. It automatically set it at 16 volts to give you 100 amps under Synergic. So let's give that a shot. One more look at the old welds and I'll run three more beads right next to it with the Synergic settings and we'll see how it does. All right, Synergic settings. One, two, and three. The first one was a little cold at 16 uh, volts, so I used the, the adjustment controls within the Synergic mode and turned it up a volt to 17 volts, ran the second bead, a little bit better but still pretty, pretty cold in my opinion. Adjusted it up one more volt to 18 volts and ran this third bead. And uh, I like that one the best. But it ran pretty smooth for each, each one of those. And the only thing I changed was the, was the voltage. Let me show you how I changed it. So right now it's on 18. Remember it started us at 16 under the Synergic setting. And you just change the voltage. So let's, we can go one more volt higher. We can go to 19. So... I was at two, let's move it up to three volts. So we're plus three volts on the Synergic and that brings it to 19. 
back it down to zero and that puts us back where we started which is 16 volts so real handy uh, adjustments for the synergic settings but it liked it better on the three plus three which is 19 volts and that's going to automatically set the wire feed speed to give us 100 amps for this particular thickness of metal under these settings. Pretty cool. All right, let's try another piece of metal and see what happens. So we're going to try this bed frame. I used this in another video when I did some flux core welds. There's one of them. So we'll just run a couple of T-joints in here in this groove. This is about three millimeters thick, so let's see what our settings say here. 20 volts and 11.5 meters per minute. So we're in Synergic, let's do manual. Eleven point five, I think it said. And twenty volts. Manual mode. Let me just double check. Yeah, twenty volts, eleven point five meters per minute. You yeah, hear the fan just turned off. The fan runs for quite a while once it activates which is good I suppose it helps keep that thing cooled down to the temperature it needs to be at so it doesn't burn itself up and we'll just run a couple of beads I'll just do one side of this we'll look at it and then I'll try the next side with the synergic settings for the same thickness we'll see how that does Here's a look at that particular MIG weld with the manual settings and it is a bit high in the center and I think I could have increased my travel speed quite a bit for that particular setting. I mean it did all right but I was going too slow I think with travel speed. That'll give you an idea. Now let's set it up for the Synergic and we'll run one right down in here and see how that does. For the Synergic settings we'll put it in Synergy and I believe I want to change my amps. Well, let's try 125. It's pretty close to an eighth inch thick. That gives us 20.2 on the voltage with the synergic settings. Run that bead and see how that looks. So under the synergic settings for this thicker material, uh, I had actually forgot to reset my voltage. So I was three volts higher than what the synergic calls for. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So I backed it down three, well, let me show you the welds. So the first one was this left one and it actually did a decent looking weld, but it was pretty spattery so I backed the voltage down three volts and did this next one and I think it's too cold so I'm gonna set it instead of 17 2 that was down too far let's move it up to a volt make it 18 2 and I'll try another weld in the synergic mode and we'll see how that does. So I've added one volt to what it called for with the synergic settings. I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna run another bead like a second pass between the uh, toe of this weld, the bottom plate, just right along that weld and we'll see what, we'll see what that does. All right, there's our weld. Turned up another volt. 
and it did quite a bit better I think in my opinion not a bad looking weld a little bit wonky right there at the end but I'm sure that's me and not the welder I think the welder did a pretty pretty nice job all right another piece of metal this is quarter inch wall pipe I cut up into pieces this is the only quarter inch stuff I got laying around scrap stuff and it's got a flux core weld in there originally but I'm gonna run another bead another pass down in this uh, t-joint sort of a t-joint using the arc captain mig 200 let's go to manual just for fun see what it'll do here 0.8 millimeter wire with mixed gas on four millimeter, 24.5, 14.5. Well, it won't go to 14.5 on the meters, 24.5 and 14. And we'll see what happens with that. And here's what that one looks like on this quarter inch piece under manual settings this time I'm gonna run one more with this setting we'll do another bead right up on top of that another pass just to test out the synergic of course that piece is pretty hot now so for 0.8 wire with mixed gas it's showing under synergic settings 22 volts and 160 amps is our max so let's try that we'll see what it does And that's what we got. So that could be some fault of my personal level of, of MIG welding capabilities. It looks to me a little cold. It didn't get up there on the top plate very well. That could be technique or the settings. But let's uh, do one more. I'll run one more right across the top of that. Just for fun. This is a quarter inch. And let's just add the three volts, which is quite a bit. But let's add the three volts. We're in the synergic mode make it 25 volts at 160 amps for the 0.8 wire and see what that does all right here's what we got cranked up to 25 volts at 16 meters per minute on this quarter inch steel and it was plenty hot i think it was a bit too hot you can see all the spatter there but it sure laid down a bunch of material in there and uh, without cutting it open i'd say that's probably burn in there pretty good I don't care for the spatter, but my, spit, my settings, I think, were just too high on the voltage. I didn't have enough wire speed to uh, meet the demands of the voltage that I was using with that. So, I mean, a new machine like this, new to me, takes some practice to get used to and playing around with and learning how to adjust it and make it weld exactly how you want. But I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a pretty nice machine. I'll put links to this machine if you want more information since I didn't cover a lot of the uh, technicalities about the machine. You want to see uh, everything it comes with and more information about what it's capable of in the settings. I'll put the Arc Captain link for the MiG-200 in the description as well as they also gave me a, an affiliate link with a discount code for I believe it was shucks I don't remember I think it was 5% off anyway I'll put that information in the description for those of you who are interested in looking at this machine and seeing more about what it has to offer I will uh, certainly be doing more videos about it as time goes on pretty darn busy right now I'm actually in the process of potentially moving to a new home and if that happens I'm gonna be real busy but I'm trying to pump out a few videos here while I have the time and while I have my shop set up. But that's a look at the Arc Captain MiG-200. MiG welding with mixed gas and .030 wire ER70S6. Some of the initial settings both in uh, manual as well as the Synergic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see another video that's similar to this one or about another welding machine review, you can click the video that's on the screen now and we'll see you over there at that video.